Ah, Ball State. Let's take it on uh, Georgia State in this one. Opened up uh, three and a half there, 49 and a half as a uh, number. This one is on Christmas uh, Day, guys. In fact, 2.30 Eastern time kickoff. And uh, Dave, um, I would imagine Georgia State is going to run the ball and probably run it a lot here. Do you like them to take down this Ball State team? Yeah, I think they're the favorite in the game for a good reason. Uh, but this is why, look, I can sit here and quote you a bunch of stats. Um, I don't generally do a lot with the stats in bowl games unless it's something. There are a couple of key categories that I really do focus on, and I certainly did that for my bowl game of the year, which fits a statistical profile that I love. And uh, that game, by the way, is up for $9. Uh, it, it, I put it up yesterday on $9 Monday, and I'm just going to leave it up there for nine bucks. Now this game, statistically, I think it's close. Uh, what I would suggest is waiting. I believe the money is going to be heavy on the Georgia State side. I think this line will get to seven by game day. And that's the point where I jump in and go for a little value. If you want, you want to take a shot at the middle based on where the line's probably going to move. Maybe you'll lay it now with Georgia State. We well, probably should have already done it and then buy back the other side and see if it can land on the number. That's not a bad strategy uh, for the purposes of the show. I'll give you ball state plus what I think will be seven by game day. And if it is, I'll probably take them as a small play. Uh, and if it's not, then I'll just sit it out. All right. And Tony Finn, what do you think about this? Uh, this interesting matchup here between these two teams. I'm seeing a lot of sixes uh, across the board in the marketplace. What do you like here? Well, if uh, first off, uh, I think it's exactly what's going to happen is Georgia State is going to run the ball. They're going to run the ball. They're, gonna, they're basically student body left, student body right, student body up the gut. And then you got a Ball State team that's just that's not great. Listen, they're not like they aren't uh, headstrong and sturdy against the run, haven't been all season. And they can score some points in this game because I believe Georgia State can control the tempo and own possession, time possession, uh, I have a lean to the under. In fact, I've had, I have a little investment myself personally. I didn't release it, but I have a personal investment on the under in this game. Uh, I, I, I have no real opinion, no strong opinion on which side it's going to be or who's going to have the ball last to score, um, but I do. I think, the, I think the value in this game, Georgia State, uh, running the football and, and uh, using the clock and keeping, keeping their offense – on the field and their defense off the field results in a under the total cash. Yeah, Teddy, it sounds cliche, but listen, whoever owns the line of scrimmage in the trenches is probably going to win. Certainly in bowl games, we've seen it. So do you trust the running game enough at Georgia state to get it done? No. Nope. Uh, when we look at Georgia <laughs> state season, every step up in class game that they played, they lost with one exception. They beat coastal Carolina. Uh, and it was a heck of a game against Coastal Carolina. But, of course, they won the turnover battle by margin uh, in that contest. But that's it. You know, their other wins, every other win that they had, guy was either right, right team at the right time, and none of them were bowl eligible. So we're talking about a team, yeah, they, they got three straight wins to close out the campaign. There's certainly a physical team up front. But in large part, they've been living on turnover margin. Ball State gets outstatted in every game. And I like teams like Ball State that get outstatted consistently. I believe they've been outstatted in every game but one all year. What happens in those games? Dave Koken talked about it. The money comes the other way. It's pouring in on Georgia State. has been uh, all week, and uh, we expect to see more because of that statistical profile for Ball State. What the stats don't measure is the mentality of this Ball State Cardinals team. Remember, this program was bottom feeders, and this is the six-year senior spent a lot of time talking about what we're trying to do this year. And, of course, they went 7-1 and one last year. They won the MAC Conference Championship. They won the Arizona Bowl, the first bowl victory in program history. You know, quote, the reason we came back for that sixth year was because we could run it back. Run it back is still the saying. It's still within us. We want to run back that bowl game. Let's run back and get the W again. That's the thought process. Drew Plitt, certainly a QB who I like catching points. He's a character quarterback, and this team has punched – well from behind all year. I think Ball State gives them a game. This isn't a blowout. Uh, I would take the Cardinals 
plus the points in this one. All right, looking at the Cardinals. Uh, quick uh, trend there, guys, with this. Both Ball State, uh, five straight unders to end the season, and I believe it was five of six down the stretch uh, for Georgia State. So 57.5 is the total currently in that matchup. 